In this video, we're going to explore how you can manage apps and extensions for your Google Workspace users on your domain. As an admin, you have the ability to allow or block apps and extensions, as well as automatically install apps and extensions for your users. To manage this, we need to go into Devices, Chrome, Apps and Extensions, and Users and Browsers. The first thing to note here is our current domain configuration policy for how apps and extensions are managed. Currently, it is set to allow all apps admin managers of a block list. You can manage this policy by selecting additional settings. Next, select edit, and then click on the drop-down list to see additional options. So in addition to allow all apps admin managers block list, we also have block all apps admin managers allow list, or block all apps, admin managers the allow list, and users may request extensions. For security reasons on a domain, I highly recommend selecting this option. This way, only apps and extensions you approve can be used with domain Google Workspace accounts, and users can also request for additional extensions to be added. These requests will appear under the Requests tab. Now let's take a look at how we automatically install an extension. To do that, let's go back to Users and Browsers on the left-hand menu, and then select the plus icon on the bottom right-hand side. A couple of options to point out here is we can install Chrome apps and extensions from the Chrome Web Store, and we can also install Android apps from the Play Store, which is applicable to Chrome devices. In this example, let's select an extension from the Chrome Web Store. And I'm going to search for the Save to Drive extension. This will allow our users to easily capture web content and save it to their Google Drive. So let's select this now and press Select on the top right. Now all we need to do is select an installation policy. At the moment, it's set to Allow Install. I want to force install it for our users. Alternatively, I can also force install it and pin it to the browser to make it easier for our users to find. Let's select this option. And lastly, we just need to select Save. That's it. So now whenever one of our domain users signs into a Chromebook or a Chrome browser using their Google Workspace account, they'll automatically have the Save to Drive extension automatically available to them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.